We've been through a lot today. Let's rest up and meet in the square tomorrow morning. Sleep if you can, and make whatever preparations you require. Understood? Yes, Captain. Yeah. Understood. Can't sleep, Hubert? I could ask the same of you. But as you're here, there's something we should talk about. When this is over, I'm going to ask the President of Strata to withdraw his forces from Lant. If he agrees, you will become the Lord of Lant in both name and deed. I trust you find this acceptable. Hubert, you would do that? I've thought long and hard about who should be entrusted with Lant, but in the end, you're the only real choice. However, at the moment, this idea ends with me. I do not know how the President will react. I understand, but I'm still grateful. Thank you. The next time I visit Lant, I'll come as family. After all, people will rest easier if someone is looking over your shoulder. You have no idea how much trouble it is having you as an older brother. <laughs> I can only guess. Enough. I should rest. Sleep well, Hubert. I wonder if everyone else is asleep. Hubert, what are you doing here? Is it wrong for a son to visit his mother? N no, not at all. I'm very pleased to see you. Would you like some tea? Frederick has just brought back the most wonderful blend. Tea would be wonderful. Good. I'll go prepare some right away. Thank you, Mother. Aspel? It's late, Sophie. What are you doing up? When will the Sofarius become a Blossom Gale? I don't know. We might have to ask my mother. She used to love tending the garden. Although, I don't think she's been here since Dad died. She says there's no one left to enjoy the flowers. I never knew my father liked flowers at all. Can I ask something? Are you sad that your father died? It's complicated. I've been avoiding thinking about it. His death meant that we never got the chance to understand each other. I'm sure we'd have been able to if he was still around. So... Yeah, you could say I'm sad about that. I guess I'm better at solving other people's problems than dealing with my own. Anyway, once everything's over, we'll come back here. Maybe then we'll be able to see the Blossom Gale. When we come back... Yeah so we have to make sure we survive, right? I want to see the Blossom Gale with you. I mean it. I know. I'd like that too. It's really late. You should get some sleep. What about you? I'll sleep soon, I promise. Good night, Sophie. Okay, good night. We're all coming back. All of us, including Sophie and Richard. Is it really so crazy to hope? Still awake? Yep. Captain Malik, I don't want Sophie or Richard to die. I want to save them both. Is that asking for too much? It's important to feel compassion for others if you wish to save them. That is a lesson I learned too late. 
It's why I couldn't save Kurt. I don't want you to face that same regret. Captain. Never lose hope, Asbel. We can do this. We will do this. Let's just make sure everyone comes back safely. Yes, sir. What are you doing, Pascal? Just tinkering around with an idea. I thought it might come in handy tomorrow. Can you get that screwdriver for me, Poisson? You have to fight tomorrow, Pascal. You should get some rest. Yeah, probably. But it's more important that I go into battle without any regrets. So if I gotta stay up all night, then I'll just... Oh, crud. Now I need a wrench. I can finish that for you. Fourier? Fourier! Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh, I have been so worried about you. Oh, I figured you'd forgotten about me. You totally saved us back when we were in the shuttle. And you looked so cool, too. You were all like, shoop, shoop. Naturally. Who do you take me for? True, true. You are my big sister. If something happened to you, I... I don't know what I'd do. Pascal. Well, I guess someone has to keep an eye on you. Make sure you take baths and the like. Hey, I take two baths a week now, whether I need them or not. Two baths a week? How can someone be so brilliant in the lab and so clueless everywhere else? Poisson and I will finish up here. You go get some sleep. And take a bath. But... No buts! Do you know how late it is? Take a bath and get some sleep or I'll dump a bucket of water on your head and strap you to the bed. You okay, sis? Sleep well, Pascal. All right then, let's get to work. We'll show the world what a Marcians are capable of. Yes, ma'am. We'll take care of everything. You two just worry about waking up on time. Aw, thanks, guys. I better get to bed. Don't stay up too late, Asbel. I won't. Sheria? Bailey, what are you doing up? Are you really leaving tomorrow? Yes, and don't try to stop me. It won't work. Um, yes. Well, actually, I was thinking, see, when all this is over, I was wondering if... Yes? What is it? Um, well, it's just... Come now, Bailey. Tell the poor girl what you're really thinking. Raymond? I'm sorry. What's going on here? Miss Sheria, please hear me. I am mortified by the horrible things I did to you. Oh, well, that's all in the past, and I... Your forgiveness shames me. Ever since you healed me, I have waited for the day when I could repay you. I beg of you, when this is over, come back to Strata with me! I shall build you a home worthy of a princess, and we will live in joy for the rest of our days. You will be a prisoner no more, my love. Instead, I shall be enslaved by you. Oh, my goodness. Come, Bailey. See if your words can sound half as sweet. See if what? Now, wait. Just look. Sheria, I came to ask if you would be the leader of our relief organization. Uh, of course, I would try to help however I could, so, uh... Will you consider it? I'm sorry. But I've had a lot of time to think recently, and I've learned what I truly want from my life. And unfortunately, that means I have to turn you both down. I'm sorry. I suppose it would be rude to ask what it is that you truly want. Mm, I'm sorry. Come on, Raymond. Let's go. You embark on a great quest tomorrow, Sheria. You should get some rest. Thank you, Bailey.
take care of her, Asbel. Uh, hey! How long have you been standing there? You're enslaving poor Raymond now? Hey, stop that! <laughs> Sorry. So, hey, mind if I ask what you truly want? Whatever it is, I'd like to help. Asbel. What about you? What are you going to do when this is over? I want to help Lon get back to normal. And I suppose I'll need to help Sophie. She's had nothing but painful memories her whole life. And now her home is gone on top of it. So I was thinking maybe she could just live here in Launt. Then maybe I could, I don't know, give her some happy memories? You said something like that before, right? About how you'd either help her get home or be with her for the rest of your life. Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess I did say that. But that was a long time ago. And I've learned it's not something I can do on my own. That's why. Look, I... I was thinking about continuing the relief work I was doing before. I want to travel the world and help those less fortunate than I. I see. You really are an angel, Sharia. Stop it. All these selfless acts are gonna make me look bad. You know that, right? Just take care of Sophie. Otherwise, I can't be held responsible for what happens. I will. I promise. So, I need to get some sleep. See you tomorrow. Someone's late? Sorry, I didn't realize everyone else was here. You slept okay? We should get going. Look! They've come to see us off. Please be careful, all of you. And don't worry about us. We'll be fine. We shall humbly wait your return. Good luck, everyone. We'll be praying for your safety. Do what you must and then get back here. And don't you dare die on me. Travel well, young masters. Thanks, everyone. All right, we're off to the Lostalia.